reflections. Today I'm going to play with some reflections, hopefully. But first, I got a little hike. This one. Welcome to my channel, here we talk about photography and I make videos just like this one where I take you with me in a landscape photography adventure. So if you're here for the first time and you love photography like me, it might be a good idea to subscribe. I am in the Italian Alps again and today, hopefully, I will take a photo or multiple photos of the beautiful group of uh, the mountains of, uh, that belongs to the Mont Blanc. You see on the, on the right, uh, the Grand Juras, then uh, the giant tooth, Il Dente del Gigante. But unfortunately, I don't think the reflection will include the, the Mont Blanc itself because it's too far on the left side. Nevertheless, it's going to be beautiful. Although, as you can tell, there is no clouds in the sky but I have good hopes. Shall we go? Let's go. I took you on this path before. I think that uh, we were doing a, a video about telephoto, but nevertheless, uh, this path is going to take me to a beautiful lake. During the winter is all icy, but now in late spring, almost summer, it should be nice and blue with great reflections. So I'm very excited. My level of fitness is not incredibly better, but my foot is doing a little better. So I can actually take a little longer hike. It will take me 45 minutes to get to the lake. So let's keep going. Yes, yes, the histogram tea. The photo tea collection is back with some new t-shirts. If you feel like it, check it out. Thanks for your support. taking a break not because I need it of course but because uh, I really like this spot I am really enjoying uh, the connection with nature and I I will never get tired to tell you how good this makes me feel and uh, I hope that uh, if you are not taking advantage of the energy that nature can give you uh, you will I'm almost there. I'm uh, curious to see what will be my reflection scenery. So I will keep going. I love this place. The first time I came here, 
I actually was uh, here only with my iPhone. It was really foggy, I couldn't see anything. I was still able to capture some interesting mood. Uh, if I find the photos, I will show it to you. Nevertheless, I think that we will find reflections. But of course, because the mountains are on that side, right behind you, we will need to go on the other side of the lake. So we'll walk around it and find the perfect spot. Do you see the composition too? I see the pebbles right here, the tree, and the leading lines of the mountains and the trees that uh, take your attention right into the middle of the frame, which will be the tree reflected on the water. Let me set it up. This should work. It's a little test shot. As you can tell, the sky is clipping. So it will be important to use an ND grad in order to balance my exposure. But maybe, let me go into manual mode. I have my histogram on my live mode so that I can see exactly what the exposure is doing. And I am clipping uh, to the right, so I will try to balance my exposure with the ND grad now in order to make the best out of this exposure. Polarizer first, let's see how the scene will change using the polarizer and cutting the glare from the water. So, in order to see where exactly I want to have my ND grad, I will place it first but on the second slot. The first slot will be the slot dedicated to my solid ND. But if I put the solid ND first, I won't be able to see anything at all. Like so, I will be able to see exactly how the ND is actually affecting my image. This should work. I have F8 and without the ND grad, 1 over 15. Yeah, I will use the six tops. Here's my six tops, which I will place right in the first slot so that there won't be any light leaking from the filter system. Reset my filters. This should be an eight seconds exposure. Let me go on manual mode. Let me put up the histogram. So eight seconds is what my aperture mode was suggesting. Let's see if I increase my uh, shutter length a little bit, if I can move my histogram to the right a little more. 10 seconds, 13 seconds, let's try that. Yeah, I do have a, a little clipping, so I guess I will need to reduce my exposure length a tiny bit. 10 seconds. Mirror lock up. Yeah, the Instagram looks good. No blinkies. This will be a good file to work in Lightroom.
you can see, there's no reflections. I'm wondering why. Maybe, maybe the sun is too low. Maybe the wind that is creating these ripples on the water. You see how beautiful this potentially can be. Not today, not right now at least. I'm not too disappointed. I'm having fun. I saw so many compositions around here that I'm sure I'm going to take you back for some other photography sessions. Nevertheless, I think I will use these rocks as my foreground and still take a nice long exposure photo and uh, maybe capturing the last light on the peaks of the mountains. I'm sure that uh, we will get something nice. Let's get to work. ISO 64 F8 1 over 30. My composition is set. This is what you see straight from the video mode of my Nikon. Let me switch back to photo. Well, as you can see, there's a crazy difference between the brightness of the sky and uh, the darkness of the water. Clearly, we will need to work with the uh, ND grad. I'm using the polarizer to cut a little bit of glare from the water again. And this is 1 over 40 at f8. I don't think that is going to get uh, much darker, although we are in the golden hour. I like the, the sun peaking on the tips of the mountains. I'm going to use a 10 stops ND. And of course the ND grad. Here's my ND grad, which I'm uh, setting it to a third of my composition. So F8, 1 over 30, usually with the 10 stops would be 30 seconds exposure. But I know I will need a little more. So I'm going for one minute. I don't know how many times I told you that the beauty of long exposure photography is waiting, is enjoying the scene, is being here. Another photography session that uh, maybe didn't go exactly how I planned it. But once again, this is a good reminder for all of us that uh, with the photography, especially landscape photography, we don't really know how it is going to end up. And in my opinion, this is the beauty of it. It's the surprise, is the, the fact that uh, you will discover things that you didn't expect and that eventually maybe you will not get what you had planned. But nevertheless, I am enjoying this very much. I hope that you are enjoying this too. At least I love to share my experience with these videos. And this is all for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.